Hi, this is Danny from the Whiteboard Blog. Here's a quick demonstration of Smart Notebook Extreme Collaboration. This is a little plugin you can get for Smart Notebook 11 from the Smart Exchange. Um, when you download it, you install it, and it gives you this little um, jigsaw tab down here, and then Extreme Collaboration will be on there. So I'm just going to click on Extreme Collaboration. Now I've logged in already, so save a little bit of time. And it gives you a, um, a page and a, a room on um, on the server, I guess you could call it, um, and so my students need to be able to get into the same room that I'm on, and they can do this from any device. Um, I can click on here and insert a QR code, and I've just done it on the next page. So here's the QR code. If you had a QR reader on your iPhone, iPad, whatever, um, they could click that, take a picture, and go straight to the correct page in the browser, or they can just open up um, Safari and go to add2nb.com and then it asks you for a, a room number and a code number which is that, they enter that and they get a little page which um, asks them for um, answers to the questions which I'm about to put up on the screen. So um, if I go forward to the next page we could do a brainstorm, now I've already um, gone to that page on my, on my iPhone so I can put in on my phone um, a word, so let's just type in lovely Okay, delete that a little bit. I'm going to start my activity on here. Boom. And once I've started my activity, what I'm going to do, um, I can now click into boxes on my on my iPad, on my iPhone, ask the question. So I can put in here, um, lovely, and I can send that. And that should appear on the screen. There we go, lovely. Um, and I can put in here. my iPad as well. And I can move these around and I've got um, on the screen here I can um, play around with some of the settings. I can actually decide once before I started the activity whether I want names to be shown or not. Um, and also down here I can see on the bottom right corner I can see who's actually had a go. Now I've set the limit of um, three questions per per person. Um, you could up this to more if you wanted to. And I've had also with the, with the names being tagged, it's a nice way of me being able to see straight away who's answered what um, based on what they've what they've put in there. So I'm going to just stop that activity there. I'm going to go to the next page, um, and I've got this set up to be list by category. So I've put two categories on the page here, modern and old, um, and you can see down here where I can add sender's name and so on. So I'm going to start the activity, and then what I can do is I've got on my iPhone, I can take a picture of that just so I'll show you that in a minute what that looks like. I'm going to type in my word, so I'm going to type in um, um, smartphone for a modern modern device um, and I can choose whether I want to send this to modern or to old so I'll send that to modern and I'll do that and then over here I might have old and I'll choose I'll send that and so again we could choose different categories so we can put things in groups and I can choose if I want something to be on one side of the screen or the other side of the screen so it works quite nicely like and one thing you can also do um, is you can upload a photograph as well so if I go my extended things here and I can tick allow images and I start that activity what I actually get now on my on my little screen on my iPad is the ability to upload an image as well. So I can click on an upload image button. Um, I can take a photograph. So if I actually take a photograph of my iPad doing this. Let's do that now. Photograph taken. I'm going to click use. Um, and then it uploads that. So my little iPhone now is chuntering for a minute. 26%. 84%, 85%, processing picture, and then I can hit the send button on my phone, and it should send that picture 
boom, to my screen like that. And I can maximize that up, make that slightly bigger. So you can see on here how that looks. Um, upload a photograph, there's an upload image button there, um, and I'll send it. So this is all being done through an iPad and an iPhone, um, sending files and sending words onto um, Smart Notebook, which is pretty cool. Now, from what I understand, as long as you get on the internet, this will work, so this can be done through any device, um, either on, on 3G or on the school Wi-Fi, um, laptops, iPads, iPhones, and so on. There are, I'm guessing, other features going to be coming in the future. Um, I've got the, the extra uh, features, so allow images is is one of those. I think on the basic version you can't do pictures at the moment but you can do all the text stuff which is worth a look. Um, but it's, it's certainly interesting if you want to have a way of just getting answers from a group of children um, on any device without having to mess around with activating smart um, response kits or, or voting kits or any other kind of handset. If they've got devices in the classroom already then this will work quite nicely. So I'm going to stop the video there. Um, like before, any questions, whack them in the comments. Um, on the blog or on the YouTube channel where this ends up and um, tweet me or email me with any questions. Thanks very much for listening.